Hey, hey guys, my name is Michael and today we are back with some more city skylines and I am still here with uh, my friend from the NLs. So what's up? Hey guys, what's up? Um, yeah, and your name is Arch, by the way. Um, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> if they don't know that by now, they haven't been watching at all. <laughs> yeah, of course. Like if you don't know, then you're not watching the episodes in order. But um, in the last episode, we didn't really make that much. We did make this industrial area here that is still growing slowly, and it seems to be needing some workers. So in this episode, I think we are going to have to focus on making some residential zones, which are going to have to be over here. But we need to remove these um, industrials first. But the question is, can we do that without losing money? That is the big question. But I guess we'll find out in this episode. There's yeah, there's only one way to find out. <laughs> okay. Let me see. What kind of trees are these? So we can kind of place the same ones over here. I think these are the one. There we go. Alright. Um, yeah, so let's go over here. Let's save the game just to be safe. And let's just remove all, this, all of this shit. See what happens. Or like it seems to be falling our economy, but now it's rising yeah. because they're building here what we lost over here. Makes sense, yeah. But we are losing citizens though, for some reason. Yeah, well, there is a high residential demand still, so. Yeah. But why the hell are we losing so many? We had like 3,000 um, citizens at some point, if I'm not mistaken. Well, I, I guess they lost their jobs. So they were like, well, screw you, I'm going home. Yeah. Well, to a new home. Well, we don't need you anymore. And are you empty yet? You are not empty. <laughs> it's almost full. It's almost full, yeah. Well, there's only one way to fix that. Build another one and transport the dirt. Yeah, exactly. We should have done that a long time ago. Let's yeah. have. Um, I think maybe. Uh, huh? Well, I was thinking we could uh, extend this road here, and then add, uh, and then have a large landfill area over here. Yeah. Oh, sorry. We could. So let's see. And then I was thinking we could have like. A one-way road going around, kind of like this. Mm -hmm. And then go like this, up and down. I don't know. And then we can just place... Ah, come on, man. Come on. This in the middle is the right size, but those out here are not. Oh, well, what the hell. So, let's change that. So, let's place a... Um, where is it? Landfill here. And let's place a road here. There we go. And then, let's see... Ah, uh, it's snapping to this. I don't like it. Yeah... Uh, it's not entirely see. what we want. <laughs> nope. Um, how about we do it like this? There we go. That's better. Yeah, that works. And 
Let's just remove this for now. We don't need too many landfills. And let's have this go this way. And then upgrade this. There we go. Add another landfill here, here, and here. So we have a lot of landfills with, which we will need because I think when we empty this one it's going to be um, unusable or whatever you can call it. Unuseful. I think that's the word I was looking for. Uh -huh. Alright. Um, let's see here. And I was actually kind of having an idea over here. If we can play that, place down these kind of roads, pedestrian roads, um, that goes through here, kind of. So that uh, citizens that are walking to work, which would be a pretty long walk, but um, whatever. <laughs> hey, whatever. They can just walk past here and um, go through like this, I guess. Let's see. Go. I don't know how efficient that is, but um, I guess it I works. Know. I mean, industrial areas always have their alleyways in between buildings, so yeah. at least, you know, ju I mean, just look at GTA, how many alleyways there are in industrial areas. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's see. And we can have this through here there we go and let's have this go through like this I guess yeah not bad um, is there anything else this um, area needs so far um we got the emergency services covered. We have a landfill, we have power. Um, uh, do they have access to water? Yeah, they do. Pretty all much right. all over the place. Yeah. I think those have water as well. I was thinking we could place a park over here. Across the um, church, a large, not a large playground, but a large park. Yeah. That's a small park, that's a normal park. Well, that should do. That is pretty big. So, and this right here is some sort of a campus. So, why not have a um, basketball court right here? I guess that works. I mean, you know, during lunch breaks they can go and play some basketball, and after school they can go to the park or visit their dead grand grandparents. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that was that's what children do, and then we have a little playground over here. So when um, they are done with school, which has a very boring playground, yeah, on the way home the parents can take them to this. Um, playground here and then of course because we don't want the walk home to be too long because this is a lazy family so they just take this pathway here if we could make it that is yeah um, come on stop snapping to everything <laughs> that would be very cool if you would stop snapping to things yeah you know what fuck it let's just Come on. You know what? Fuck you. <laughs> You'll just walk around. Yeah. Um, let's see. Like this but... then? And then over here. And yeah. then use the move it tool here. There we go. But just imagine though, your, I don't know, I guess five or six year old child comes home 
uh, and, and you ask you ask her, well, you know, what did you do today? Oh, I, I played with grandma today, and then you realize your grandma grandma has been dead for like ten years or something. <laughs> I, it happens in those ghost movies, so why not, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, a heads up, I can hear fire department, fire trucks coming from in the distance, so, you know, it's gonna be pretty loud soon. <laughs> and now for the episode special. Yeah. Because, yeah, there we go. There you have your um, episodic... There's um, two, by trucks. the way. Yeah. Right, that was the small one with all the gear. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the one with the ladder on top. <laughs> Yay, fire! <laughs> right, well, it's probably a small fire because it's only two trucks. Yeah. Right, let's see. Can we take this through to here? And then through to. Here. Doesn't look too I bad. Mean, yeah, it doesn't look bad. I mean, I could have turned off my mic there, but <laughs> I didn't want to withhold our viewers this majestic sound, you know. No, of course. <laughs> These acoustic sounds. Yeah. I mean, even Mozart doesn't look good enough with this, you know. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Use the move it tool. There we go. This way right. they can just walk over here to visit their friends. Have a little party. Yep. Don't forget to bring your dead grandma. <laughs> yeah. Bring two dead grandmas and you get a chips for a chips pack for free. Or some shit. <laughs> Come on. Stop snapping to everything. You snapper. <laughs> bring bring three dead grandmas and and get a free dead grandpa. Whoa. As a bonus. Whoa, whoa. We talking business here, man. <laughs> now that's business. <laughs> a free dead grandpa? Damn. I just don't know. If he was already dead, or if he died because he saw three dead grandmas. <laughs> Man, this shit is dark. Yeah. This is brought to you by City Skylines. A non-child friendly game, apparently. Oh, no, it's very ch child friendly. It's just not grandparents friendly. No, of course. Because <laughs> they die I, left I mean, and right. I mean, Grandparents don't like being dead, but grandchildren like their dead grandparents, I guess. No. Okay. Well, if grandparents don't like to be dead, then they shouldn't die, because let's be honest, they die all the time, everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Stop dying, grandmas. <laughs> we love your pancakes too much. That's true, though. I yeah. love my, gra my grandma's apple pie. It's delicious. Mm, like oh, oh, homemade apple pie <laughs> is the best apple pie. Yeah. What is better than homemade apple pie? Grandma's homemade um, apple pie. Yeah. And now we can remove this. All right. So is this empty yet? It is not empty. It's very slow. Um. I don't know if we should place down any residential yet because I don't know if we want the roads to be looking like that. But one thing is yeah, that that's I... for sure we don't need this shit. Oh. I hear more fire trucks coming from the other part of town, so maybe the fire isn't so small as I thought. <laughs> Yay. No, it's a huge fire. It's a very huge fire. Um Okay, so what could we do here? Like, we could just wait for this to empty, but it takes too fucking long. But we need oh. residentials. Yeah, 
Yeah. You can't you can't destroy it, right? If it's filled. I don't think I can. No, building is not empty. No. That's the only thing. I think I told this a few episodes ago that uh, I do think that they did that better in SimCity because you could actually destroy it if it was full. It would it would just majorly pollute the ground around it if you did, you know. Yeah. What you saw me do there was uh, make this road here a priority road. I guess that means that if there are any stop signs, they will be on. Uh, they will not be on this road here, but on the other roads that meet this one. Yeah. To be honest, I never get the whole idea with stop signs. Like, I, I mean. Uh, even when the road that you're trying to enter is completely empty, completely deserted of traffic, you still have to freaking stop at the sign for no reason whatsoever. Yeah. I, I never, I never fully understood it. Like, I don't know if they use that in Denmark as well, but if in, in my country, if there's a priority road and a side road that's not a priority road comes to it, they usually use uh, use something we call shark teeth. Yeah, we which, do too. Yeah, which basically means you have to stop if there's traffic on the priority uh, road, like you have to give way to them. But if there's nothing there, you can just drive on, you know, you don't have to stop if there's no traffic there. Unless, uh, uh, you know, unlike an actual stop sign. Yeah. I, I just I just really don't get the whole idea behind stop signs. No. I, I mean, but the, but I think the stop signs like the short teeth basically just means that you have to uh, yield when there are cars coming on the uh, road that you're crossing but stop signs you have to stop no matter what even if there are no cars yeah but why would you need to stop if there's no car on the priority road whatsoever you know like it yeah. makes no sense I have no idea no idea ask the geniuses that uh, came up with that yeah I mean, like you could argue that you know, if if, uh, if the visibility from the road that you're on towards the priority road is really bad, like because there's a building on the corner or whatever, you could argue that a stop sign has use because you have to stop to actually see if you can cross it. But that whole idea counts the same for like uh, shark teeth because you still have to make sure that you're clear that nothing is coming before you cross or enter yeah. the priority road so even then you could argue that a stop sign is not needed because you have to pay attention no matter what like yeah um so our economy is not doing very well right now so uh, when this one is empty we can actually start doing some more work um we could do the um, bus lines, but I don't know where to place the bus depot. Uh, I mean, I guess we could place it here or something. We, yeah, we could. Um, what if we're facing um, it on? We could make a little road dedicated to it, maybe. Yeah, we could. I guess, like, make a make a, a sort of um, like a yeah like a road that you suggested but uh, bigger and then we can place bus depots there and later on we can place tra uh, tram depots and uh, oh the yeah stuff. of course we can Subway have a, depots. Like, so we can make a tra transpor transportation area like an entire area where um, transportation um, stuff is Be placed yeah exactly Okay, so um, I guess we can do it like this so far and um, place the bus depot right here. Maple Street. Alright, um, now we can place down bus lines. One thing that this game does very well is um, traffic um what do you call it management 
Yeah. Um, you really have to make sure that um, stuff like um, public transportation and stuff is uh, is managed. All right. So, wherever can we have? We can uh, let's make a bus line that goes from this place over to um, the industrial area, which apparently has a lot of um, abandoned buildings because it needs workers. But um, why do these buildings keep running low on um, power? Like, look at all these fucking windmills. Uh, I don't know. Maybe just pull the power line over from the coal plant. I did. But oh, you did? It doesn't produce enough, apparently. Wow, these are some really inefficient people living here then, if, if that is not enough to power these little amount of houses. Yeah. Alright, so we can have a bus line. Um, should we have the bus line be on the main road, or do we want it to kind of go on to um, the smaller roads? Like, for instance, we have a line, we have a um, stop here, then it go this, goes this way, it has a stop here. And then goes across again and has to stop here, maybe? I don't know. I guess that you could do that, maybe. Yeah, maybe those first two stops that you said are correct. And then maybe a stop in the... Main uh, road? Yeah, in the main road yeah, near the commercial... Because this one is a dead, uh, uh, dead end, so we we'll have to make some sort of U-turn. Yeah, or maybe a, st a stop Yeah, the, near the campus, you know, for the people that need to go to school. I don't know. Yeah. We can have two stops here, just to make sure we pick up a lot of people. Yeah. And then we go over here, have a stop here. A stop here. Maybe another one here. Uh, I and don't know if we need a bus line for campus yet, because like, like you can just use a bicycle to go from here to over there. Yeah, that's true. I'll just make the next one. Um, Should I make another one here or? Um, no, but I I don't think that that's needed. I mean, let's just go directly over here. We can always add add. We can actually add stops in between stops, and uh, in a later period. So um, yeah, if we just go like um. I don't think we need to add a stop here, but we can add a stop. Uh, let's have it go up this way here. And then just along this road. Have a stop here. Add a stop here, maybe. Stop here. Yeah. Here. And here. Yeah. Uh, landfills don't need a stop, so. And then uh, maybe have it go back. And then add a stop here again. And this this is kind of nah. This doesn't make any sense. Maybe just from there, have it skip all the way until the commercial zone below it. Yeah, and then stop here. Yeah. And then have it go back to where it came from. Why the from. hell is it taking this? Because it's faster, um, probably. And then have uh, it go around here, and then stop on the other side, because that's what buses do. They stop on both sides of the street. This way here, this way, this way, this way, and then stop here. Yeah. And then, and then we could we could add a stop over. Nah, I don't know. Um, because it loops around, it has to go this way uh, anyway, and then loop around, and then this way again. Yeah, maybe just add one stop in the corner or something. No, like yeah, like over here, and then yeah. another one there. Let's go. All right. 
so that is our first bus line. Is the landfill empty yet? Nope. I guess what you could do is remove the roads around it. Because we're going to change that anyway, right? Well, um, if we remove the roads around it, there wouldn't... Uh, you couldn't have any garbage trucks get over here and then... Well, I, I, I guess remove all the roads except the ones that are really needed for the landfill. Like, the ones below it aren't really needed. Because yeah, it, like it will save us money, and if we're going to change them anyway, then... Yeah. I mean, I guess you could already make the layout of that neighborhood. I mean, you don't need to wait till the landfill is completely gone for that, I guess. No. It's just uh, it's my OCD that kind of says <laughs> nope. But I, but yeah, I can kind of show my idea because I have a pretty good idea here. But I don't know if it's realistic. Um, you know, kind of like over here. That we have the main road, and then we just have some kind of side roads getting off uh, here. I yeah. was thinking we could maybe do the same thing here, but I don't know if that uh, would mean any difference. We could uh, also just have um, like commercials um, on the main road, and then have some and have the smaller roads have a residential. Which yeah, idea sounds could. better. Um. I like having a main road with residential. Yeah. I I just I, I just wonder if it should be this main road or if you should create a secondary main road, you know, going off from this one. Well, we already have this main road here. We could use that one. I mean, having too many main roads can be a little too much. I don't know. What if you have a main road going, like, kind of where the road from the land, uh, landfill is, like, slightly below it. You create a main road going from that point uh, all the way to the left and then up and have it connect just before it hits the freeway. I'm and sorry, then where can you direct me? Go to the landfill. Yeah. The one that, that would... Right. And then slightly... Uh, you see the road from yeah. the landfill like uh, a, f a few like maybe two or three squares below that create a new main road going the same direction like this oh um. yeah maybe a few squares lower yeah uh, that could work yeah and then have it go all the way to the left uh, and stop like uh I don't know, like tw 10 squares before the freeway and then have it go up and connect back to the original main road there. Well, the thing is, I was kind of thinking of um, removing all of this because I don't want this to be too gritty and it does look like it has, it's going to be gritty if uh, I just use this, but I don't know. Because I also want to have some diagonal roads, you know, Yeah. to go through somewhere. Well, I, what you could do, then I have a, a, a better idea, I think. Um, remove that road that you just created, yeah? And then um, from the the top right corner of that main road, where it goes uh, to the left, you know? Create it diagonally from there to the... Uh, yeah, all the, and then stretch it all the way as far as it can go. <laughs> yeah. And then just have have all the commercial on that road and then have the side street contain uh, residential areas. Let me see. It, I don't like how it bends like this. Like, if only you hold down a button that keeps it straight or something, I don't know. Yeah. You're going to have to remove the uh, power lines anyway later. Yeah. Um, I know there's a trick to make diagonal roads that aren't, you know, um, oh, we can just place it here at this crossing and then you continue straight. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Yeah, I mean, it does make sense because then it, uh, it covers as much area as possible. 
Yeah. And then it doesn't need to be exactly 45 degrees all the way. Because having those, you know, kind of 70 degrees and 50 degrees um, kind of looks neat. You know, it makes it look like it's an old town, you know. Yeah, like exactly. They, they didn't really invent the grid system yet and they did just kind of kept the old roads and then made grid roads over the old roads, if you know what I mean. Kind of like in New York City. Like, if you look at the um, satellite pictures of um, Bro Brooklyn, you can see that it it's um, it's uh, it has the grid system, but there are also old uh, roads just cutting through. Yeah, yeah, they are. Shit, this uh, building here needs water and it needs power. Well, like God said, let there be light. <laughs> And you will find um, paradise. Buses. Yeah, and you will find buses. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, is there a reason, uh, like above the landfill, is there a reason there's like a tiny part of road there? Of basically Where? doing. Um, if you go back to that, yeah, that. Yeah. that oh, tiny... yeah. I, I wanted to make a road here. Um, I'm just kind of keeping it just in case I, I'm still planning on doing that. All right. Right, so before we end this episode, let's go on the bus here. See how that looks. <laughs> okay, so, um, guys, just a little bit of a um, service message, if you can say so. <laughs> um, I know that my um, City Skylines videos are kind of all over the place. Um, most of you are probably used to watching City Skylines YouTubers that uh, know exactly what they're doing and like it's like they have everything under control but I'm just not that kind of guy. Not yet at least because I'm not used to both playing City Skylines and talking to you guys. So if you see that I sometimes get a little um, I don't know, confused and don't really know what I'm doing and just kind of work all over the place. Well, it's basically just because I'm still an amateur, even though I have been doing Let's Plays for like one and a half years. Making these kind of Let's Plays is still kind of new to me. So I hope you guys will forgive me for that. Yeah, you, you guys better do because I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like like um, Sarge doesn't want to admit it, but he's uh, he's very impatient with me, I guess. <laughs> uh, yep. If he doesn't get his shit done, he's gonna get punishment. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, I don't really care. Like, just do your thing, you know. Yeah. Well, it doesn't really look like a um, what do you call it? A village from ground level. Like, look at these, those buildings. They look nothing like something you would find in a uh, humble village. Nope. It looks more like I don't know, like um, the uh, outskirts of a big city. Yeah. Well, but well, I guess at a later point, this will be just an outskirt of uh, a bigger city. Because this um, village is right across the um, uh, highway, and on the other side of the highway is gonna be a big city. So this is kind of just outskirts, I guess. Yeah, the suburbs. Yeah, I don't know if there are policies for having smaller buildings. Um, I'm gonna have to uh, look into that at some point. I I don't know about how they do that in America. But I know here there's. Um, it really depends on the town. Yeah. Like, if there's a, uh, uh, I think there was one town. I don't know if it was in my country. That was one city, or if it was uh, in one of the other European countries. But there was a city where I remember that no other building could be taller than uh, the monument. Oh yeah, it was in in Washington uh, with the White House. I think no building was. Uh, allowed to be taller than the Washington Monument. Hmm. So there are no buildings that are taller than, than that? 
Uh, not in Washington, no. Hmm. Weird, because when I think of Washington, I think of at least some high rises, but apparently not. They, they, they'll have small high rises, but they, they're not allowed to be taller than the Washington Monument. <laughs> but that has, that has more to do with safety, because, you know, you have the Capitol there, you have the White House there, and I guess if you have a really high high rise, you would never know if there's a terrorist sniper on there trying to snipe the president, you know, like... Yeah. I guess it's more of a safety issue than just because the Washington Monument yeah. has to be the tallest, you know. Oh, uh, look at this. The bus is actually filled up. 30 out of 30 person passengers. Oh, well, the, we, we need... To, like, does the game automatically assign buses to it, or do you have to add buses yourself? Well, let me go over and uh, click on this, I guess. Oh, you can do it from here. We need to find a bus. I think there's one there. Line details. And then you can. Um, well, you can have a higher budget. But I think 13 buses is enough for this small town here. Yeah, it is. By the way, Although this is actually. This is also new in the um, mass transit. Especially in this menu right here. Now we can see each stop how far away they are. Um, this um, blue ball right here is um, the bus that we are currently looking at, I think. Yeah. And then you can see how many people are waiting at the different bus stops. So over here in this stop, there are 89 people. Holy fuck. That's a lot of people. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that, that's why I was thinking maybe we should add a few more buses, but... Well, like, that, that, it does make sense, because it is the main street uh, bus stop, and there are lots of people from around that waits here, and they have to go to work, and, like, the only place to work is over here. So yeah. it does make sense that this is the only bus line they would use. And um, uh, let me see. And then over here, there are only 7 and 17... 52 over here, 72 here, damn. Oh, and we can actually scroll down, and there are nobody waiting over at the working places. I guess it's because yeah. it's eternal daytime, and because it's eternal daytime, it's always morning, and then people have to go to work and not from work, I don't know. Yeah, or it's because almost the whole industrial area is abandoned, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh... All right, I think we could raise this by 20%. Just have two more buses. I think that should be enough for now. We don't yeah. want to spend too much money on this. I guess, I mean, I guess later on, uh, there's going to be more bus lines, you know, yeah. so that will relieve the pressure. Maybe, I, I mean, well, probably not trains, but... Um, Maybe a tram. Yeah. Oh yeah, monorails. I can't wait to use those. We're definitely gonna have monorails at some point in this city. Yeah, they they look pretty nice from what I saw. Yeah. Well, it's um, windy outside. That's why I heard one of my uh, posters just um, flapping about. <laughs> <laughs> but I think this is a good place to end this episode. Yeah. Um, these videos, I think it's inevitable that these video, that these um, City Skylines videos get longer because playing City Skylines is a longer process than just playing My City Stories or any other story-based game. So I don't think that having a an episode of uh, City Skylines being 40 minutes long is too bad. It's just um, when you're a small YouTuber, not a lot of people want to see 40 minutes of video. <laughs> but um yeah yeah but well, it is, you got uh, sorry what i was just gonna say you you gotta start small and short you know and well it is city skylines and it city skylines is a i think it's a, a much larger pro process i think you can call it yeah yeah, and this mountain here, I can't wait to have some 
uh, sky cars or whatever you call it to go up here and then have some sort of mm, what do you call it um, trail just a, a normal trail or whatever you call it you know yeah but um, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this episode please leave some feedback and um, if you liked the video please leave a like and if you disliked it leave a dislike um, because it helps me uh, to know whether or not my videos are good or not and I can only make my videos better if you guys can help me uh, and give me some constructive feedback no hate um, because I will ignore it anyway but um, leave some constructive uh, feedback let me know if there's something I can change and all that shit and I hope you enjoyed this um, video and I will see you guys in the next one so bye bye and have a good day See you guys.